Uh, it's Jarvis Cloud from Visual Model WordPress Teams. And in today's video, we're going to learn how to disable the Auto Archives page into your WordPress website for free into a simple, fast, and active and yet effective method. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share this content with a friend of yours. I have no idea how much it helps us. After this, go to WordPress dashboard, have the left sidebar of menus, hover mouse over plugins and click into the submenu Add New Plugin. Remember, to access WordPress dashboard, all you have to do is enter on your browser search bar, this part, right, the address bar, enter with your domain plus WP admin or WP login, enter with email or username and password. Click on login and you're going to be into this page. After going to the Add Plugins page, review the upper right corner of your screen, there is a field called Search Plugins. You're going to be installing a very, very useful plugin. You're going to love it. And the best part, it's free. WP Code. Insert headers, footers, custom code, snippets, WordPress code, manager. Click on Install now. Then click into the Activate button. Then it's going to redirect you to the plugins list. The list where you can see all of the present plugins on your site. But if you scroll down just a little bit and review the left sidebar of menus once again, next to settings you're going to be able to find a new menu called Code Snippets. Hover mouse over it and click into the submenu plus Add Snippet. Right here, review this middle sidebar where you can see all snippet, popular, admin, archive, attachments, comments. We're going to move to archive, okay? And right here we have 22 codes. And to unlock these free codes, you need to connect with the library. So instead of use snippet or preview buttons right here, you're going to see a big blue button called connect to WP code. It's free. All you have to do is create an account. As soon as you click, you're going to open a pop-up and you're going to need to enter your email, set a username, set a password, and you're going to be good to go. After, you're going to be redirected back to your site and you're going to see these options right here. Use a snippet or preview. Here is the disable auto archives page. Snippet, click on preview. Here is the code that is going to do the job for us. All we have to do is click on use snippet. This is a PHP code that as, an, as soon as you click, we're going to create. The plugin is going to do this for you. There is the title, all set, all done, all good to work. Now all we have to do is if you the upper right corner of our screen, there is next to the update button to the left side, there is a little switcher. We're going to change from inactive to active. Then hit the update button. After this, you are good to go. Simple, easy, and very, very effective. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any questions. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All the best.